Hi everyone, Susie here from Minnesota. I garden in a zone 4B and in this video I'm going to be doing the single seed challenge for 2022. And I've been inspired to do this video by Scott from Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. I will link his channel down below in the description. So I just thought this would be kind of a really a neat challenge because I'm always starting so many seeds indoors and sowing a lot, hoping for at least 50% germination. So I thought one seed, <laughs> hopefully that would be 100% germination. Plus, I'm going to be using some older seeds. I grow a lot of flowers indoors, uh, perennials, annuals, ornamentals. I get a head start of the growing season, so I have stopped growing my tomatoes and peppers indoors just because I garden on such a small scale with my, with my vegetables. I go to my local nursery and pick up some plant starts. But on that note, I have these seeds and I thought, I do so many flowers, so let's just try a jalapeno. So this is a Tam jalapeno from Baker Creek. And it is, a, peppers for me are slow growers. So this says start eight to 12 weeks before the last frost date. My last frost date is usually about the middle of May. And then there's also going to be a hardening off process. I figure I usually take one to two weeks depending on the my temps, my weather. So I figure, this I'm going to be growing in a container. I'm not going to be putting it in my vegetable garden beds because I just, I usually grow them with my tomatoes, but my tomatoes get so big. I just think they, they shadow these and that's why I struggle. So I figure growing it in a container, we'll see what happens. I might actually have better luck going that way. So yeah, so I'm hoping by the time that I can actually leave this outdoors, it'll probably be about June. And by that time, I'm hoping my nighttime temps kind of stay in about the, the low 60s, maybe high. My gardening zone, zone 4B just basically means how cold it gets. And it's about negative 30 Fahrenheit to negative 25 Fahrenheit. But my summers are most of the time absolutely beautiful and usually about the high 80s, low 90s, high humidity, so the pepper should absolutely love that. So let's get sowing. Okay, so what I'm going to be using for this single seed challenge is I'm just gonna keep it simple. So basically I have a cover here from um, like a, a takeout container. I just reuse whatever I can along with this little container here. There is a good amount of room in there. Peppers grow at a very slow rate. So this is probably gonna be in this container for I would say about six weeks. I mean, there's enough uh, soil room in there. I also put a drainage hole in the bottom and um, I just have this here too. I'm not sure what that's from. Just gonna act as a humidity dome. And I'm gonna label, just I'm gonna put Tam down, Tam jalapeno. And it is, what is it? February 13th. So there's that. And then the instructions for sowing the pepper is it sprouts in seven to 10 days. And hopefully, and the ideal temp is from 70 degrees to 95 degrees. That's pretty high heat for germination. I do have a heat mat that I'm gonna be putting on. And, and then the seed depth is about a fourth of an inch. So I'm just gonna move this to the side. So in here, I just have a wood tray covering this and I'm just gonna be careful. Just have a pail here and this has a pre-moistened sterile potty mix and my potty mixes never contain any fertilizer for seed starting. Uh, your seed has everything in it for germination and for nutrition for the time at the start. And I also like to pre-moisten my potty mix with a boiling water. That way it just helps control fungus gnats even more on that note. I still have some issues, but this has helped a lot. I've seen very little fungus gnats so far. And I used to use a seed sturdy mix. I got a little spendy. So I've gone with potty mixes and I haven't seen any difference in germination rates. So I'm gonna stick with the potty mixes. They do have bigger pieces in them. So when I find the bigger, like, um, here's big wood chunks. I'll just set them aside. I kind of have a pail I put them in and then I'll just be putting it up my garden beds. But that way there's no big pieces to kind of hinder the germination. So 
So I'm just packing it lightly. I'm not pushing it down. I'm just making sure that there's no air pockets in there. But I'm also keeping it, can you see that far from the lip of, of the container because the humidity dome is flush with it. So when I get germination, <laughs> um, there's a little bit of room in there for it to grow. So it's not pushing against that lid and bending the stem. So I'm just gonna get my stuff here. All right, and then I'm just gonna eyeball about a fourth of an inch. I'm not, doesn't have to be exact. All right, if I can do this without knocking. So they're a pretty good size to work with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just kinda kinda look for the best looking one. So I've got one here just if you can see one little seed drop in the hole and the rest can go back in the package and think in happy thoughts I'm just gonna cover that just a little bit I'm just gonna press down lightly and this is how I do all of my seed starting I cover with vermiculite And then I'm just gonna water it in. It's already pre-moistened, so it doesn't have to be fully saturated. I'm just making sure that the seed is damp at this time, because that is what activates germination. Starts that process. And then, that goes on top and then I will show you where I'm going to be putting this little dude okay this is where the jalapeno is going to stay until it germinates it's on a heat mat and that will stand for uh all day long and I will probably check on germination in about three to four days just because heat mats do tend to speed up that process really quickly and because that humidity dome is flush with the container just want to make sure that when it does germinate that it's not pressing on that little seedling and bending the stem so hopefully this video has inspired you to do the single seed challenge and bye for now